Hello everyone, today I am going to create this feature wall in Revit using the adaptive component technique. The method is very simple but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new family template file of a generic model adaptive. Go to floor plan and here using the model line, draw this, this one petal, the plan of this one petal. So uh, you don't need to specify the dimensions in this family file. You can use any type of dimensions. Once you have defined the shape, select this point element, make sure draw on work plane is selected and then place these four points at these corners. Then delete these lines and select these four points and click on make adaptive. For multiple selection, use control button on the keyboard. Now place one more point element in the center like this, select it and from here move it a little bit upwards giving the value in this offset so now you can see that it is 4 inches above the floor plan now select the line make sure 3d snapping is on and drawn face is selected and then connect these points like this so that there are 4 rectangles This is the second one and the third one and a last. Select these three lines for multiple selection. Use control button on the keyboard and then click on create form. Then click on that simple, a simple triangle here. I'm not going to give it a thickness. So we have the basic form of the petal which we can use to create our feature wall in the project file. Now select these four surfaces and from here give it a material parameter. Now open a new project file of the architectural template. Place a wall on the level 1 floor plan and connect it to level 2. Then go to south elevation. Let's reduce its width, then select the model line, set the reference plane to this surface of the wall and now I am going to create this same pattern on the wall using the model line as you can see in the video.
now as you can see i have created a template on the wall then load the family file of the generic model adaptive in this project file and then place it on these four corners of the pattern like this now let's go to the 3d to see how it looks like I guess we should reduce the height of the center point element that is very easy simply double click on this to open the family file then select this point and reduce its height let's say one inches and then save it and load it into the project overwrite the existing version and it has reduced its height if you want you can add a height parameter to this point element but i have not done this for this tutorial now i am going to keep the offset at 1.5 inches i guess 1 inches is a bit odd it should be 1.5 inches so again load it into the project overwrite the existing version and you can see that it has changed its height in this project file as well now let's create a flower using this family file so one two three and four so i am going to place them on these uh, model lines like this one two three four and the petal is complete one two three four again the petal is complete so simply place keep on placing these petals uh, one by one on all of these on all of these places where you want to keep that where you want to keep the design so i have placed it on the wall like this i think and now here I am going to uh, change the pattern a little bit for the floor design as you can see in the video. Again select the component and place them on these petal shapes one by one like this. One, two, three and four. now here you can see that i have completed the pattern on the wall and it looks like this you can create any type of feature wall using this technique of adaptive component and the method is very simple now hide these petals and then select these model lines and delete them because we don't need them anymore unhide the petals and it looks like this.
so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe